What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. We're going to run the Prestige Cup with the M600 Speedster. We'll show you the final speed traps, the final sprint races. We'll do the last couple of races so you can see the time is to beat, how, how fast you need to be to get to stage 6 part, and all that good stuff. So, let's go do it to it. If you enjoy this content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And here comes the Prestige Cup. All right, so we have a speed trap of 216 miles per hour. So your car is going to have to be 216 miles per hour to get through. I think this is race number 17. And my car is almost maxed out. I think we have all the stage six parts, but we're missing a couple of fusions. I was actually amazed that I had all the stage six. So my car did 329 miles per hour, but yeah. 216 is about what you're going to have to do to pass race number 16 or 17 there, whichever one that was. So let's move on to the next thing. All right, so race number 19, we have a 0 through 100 race. And I do have a video on how to drive this car for stage 5, stage 6. We got a live racing set up for it and all kinds of stuff. I'll make sure we pop up the video at the end of this video. It'll pop up on the screen along with my tuning playlist. So if you guys don't know how to tune cars... That'll teach you how to tune cars really good. So we got all kinds of playlists on this channel to help you learn about the game. In order to beat this race, you're going to have to do 3.022 or faster. My car did it in 1.5, so hey, that's not too bad. All right, the next speed trap is 234 miles per hour. So your car is going to need to do 234 or faster in order to beat the last speed trap. So there we go, there we go, there we go. But ba bam we kicked its butt. That was race number 22, I do believe. Speed trap of whatever that was. My gosh, Jess, you're in the way. 234. Okay, thanks for moving, Jess. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next race. And we'll just go ahead and race out the last couple of races till we get to the end so you can get a good idea of your if your car is fast enough. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's really hard to get the, the speedometer needle to do that kickback. You gotta let go of the gas, I mean, like, right, right, right before the car launches. If you don't launch just perfectly, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Alright, here comes race number 24. And we are gonna do it to it. Number 24, number 24. Three, two, one, go. And I did not get the kickback again, guys. I missed it big time, but that's very easy to do, so... Maybe it's best to just let the car launch. Like, don't let go of the gas. Let's try that on the next run. I mean, I do have a video on how to drive this car, but let's try that. Here comes race number 25. That time we got a couple of parts, which I may or may not be able to install. This car is almost maxed out. I think I got... Hey, my mouse just... My mouse battery just died. Holy crap. Holy. Okay, hold on a second. I got to replace this. I got to figure out how to get the thing off. Oh, boy. The battery died. The battery died. Holy crap. This is not good. Um, uh, this is bad. This is bad. I think my mouse is fixed now, maybe. Um, let me put that battery over here. There we go. We are ready to rock and roll. Here comes race number 25. <laughs> Dead mouse battery. Not so good. I carry a bunch of uh, in-loop rechargeable batteries. Those things are supposed to have like 10,000 recharges or 20,000 recharges or something crazy by Panasonic. Those are the best batteries I've ever had. I've had these things for probably over 10 years. I don't know how many times I've recharged these and they're amazing. Best rechargeable batteries you can get, honestly. I used to buy like the, uh, what was it, Duracell and what's the other one? Energizer rechargeables. Those kind of sucked, man. These N-Loops, E-N-L-O-O-P, they're amazing. Amazing. All right, here we go, here we go. Fifth gear, sixth gear, and ba-bam. That's all she wrote. We crossed the finish line. We're coming in hot. We are coming in hot. And we got a 7.7. .7. That was race number 27, or was that 26? I think this is 27 coming up. I don't know why those numbers confuse me so bad, but they confuse the crap out of me. I never know if this is, I just did 27 or I'm about to do 27. I hate the way they have that set up. But anyways, 
Here comes the next race. Three, two, one. Ba bam Oh, I missed the kickback again. Hey, slow down, dude. All right, there we go. There we go. We beat him. We got it. We got it good. All righty. Here comes race number, I think, 28. So this should probably be the one that gives you the stage six part. So I think you want to pay close attention to the time we do on the next race. It's either this one or the next one's going to give us the stage six part. That's another thing I can never remember. Which one is it? Which one is it? 20, 27, 28, 29? I don't know, but we'll find out in a second. Three, two, one, go. No kickback again, man. I keep screwing it up. I keep messing it on up. The mouse battery died. It ruined my whole day. Well, you know, not really. I'm just making up junk. I don't know. All right. That should be it, right? That should be the stage six part. So that guy ran a 9.903. And there it is. All right. So you're going to have to run about a 9.9-ish in order to get that stage six part out of this race. All right, here comes race number 29. And I'm gonna make sure I shift this thing correctly this time. All right, hold on. Three, two, one, go. There it goes. So yeah, I mean, you gotta let go of the gas just a smidge, a little teeny thingy dingy right before launch because I'm telling you what, if you don't get that kickback, it definitely makes the car run slower. All right, here comes race number 30, guys. This should be the very last race. Always make sure you do race number 31 because that puts you up on the leaderboards. Even if your car is not that fast, you still want to do it because you'll win at least a couple bronze keys or this or that. So get yourself on the leaderboard to make sure you win some kind of a prize. So always do race number 31 no matter what. I know some people skip it because they're like, oh, my car is slow. It's not going to help me out. Well, it's going to give you something. All right, so this should be the final time to beat everybody. Whatever we have here is the final time. And that was an 8.915. So your car is going to have to run probably 8.9s, maybe a tenth of a second faster, maybe a tenth of a second slower. But that gives you a great idea of what time you have to run. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have cars fast enough to beat it. If not, keep opening those free crates and all that good junk. You might get enough parts before the thing ends. If you want to help support the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, click the little bell, set those notifications all. There's the thank you button down below the video, the join button to become a monthly channel member. And if you drop down the video's description, there's some links in there to help support the channel. There's links to some game news, some information, my other YouTube channels, my Discord, and all kinds of junk. So drop down that description, check that out. And I'm going to pop some videos up on the screen right now that you might want to see. All right, catch you guys later. Have an awesome day. See ya.